Right now, Holly, a Wisconsin veteran is helping bring home the remains of one of his friends who was killed while fighting in Ukraine. Plus, more than a million dollars is going to a local food pantry during a time of unprecedented demand. We'll share how that money will be used. And there's sense of optimism on Capitol Hill as a debt ceiling deal could be reached within a matter of days. You're watching News 3 now at 10. Tomorrow, a Wisconsin veteran will be traveling to New York to help collect the remains of one of his comrades. As our Arman Rahman learned, it's the end of a year-long process to bring the soldier home from war-torn Ukraine. Eric and Charlotte, it's a story we're used to hearing when soldiers killed in action in World War II. But Grady Karpazi was killed just over a year ago, helping Ukrainian forces in their war against Russia. And among the team bringing him back home was a brother in arms from Wisconsin. Tim Lesage says he owes a lot to his fellow Marine, Grady Karpazi. He's definitely saved my life. Now he prepares to accompany him on his final deployment. Tomorrow we collect him uh, from the airlines overseas. Lesage and Karpazi served together as scout snipers in Iraq in the early 2000s. And I remember Grady coming up behind me and, and saying, whispering in my ear, you know, he's like, you are completely surrounded by Claymore mines, you're safe. And he would do anything to make sure that I got home. After retirement, Karpazi wanted to go help Ukrainian forces by serving as an advisor. But after a skirmish with Russian forces in the Kherson region, he dropped off the grid. The silence in the walls at night while home alone and not knowing what's going on, especially when we didn't know if he was alive or deceased yet, some of those were very loud nights while sitting home alone, so it was very difficult. Lesage was part of the team working with embassies, the VA, nonprofits, and more, tracking Kerpazi from hospital to hospital. Boots on the ground, folks that are trying to survive and where they're getting their next meal, let alone how they're going to get your good friend and teammate home. Then the confirmation no one wanted to hear. It is sad to know that he passed away over there, but... Um, you know, this team would never stop until he came home. A year later, the global rights advocacy group, the Weatherman Foundation, located the fallen Marine. I knew that once Grady was on a U.S. flight, I could take my pack off, my metaphoric pack off. Now, a bittersweet victory for Lesage, meeting his friend with full military honors at JFK Airport. Yeah, it's amazing. And bringing him to his family to lay to rest. At that point, I, th I think, uh, I don't know how it'll hit me, but I know it'll hit me. And after the ceremony at the airport, Kerpasi's remains will be transported to Wilmington, North Carolina, to be reunited with his family. The State Department does not confirm the total number of U.S. citizens killed in Ukraine, but Task and Purpose reports at least 12 since the war began. Armand, thank you. An update now on breaking news we brought to you last night at 10. Authorities in Greene County say a missing veteran was found earlier today and surrendered after a four-hour phone negotiation with sheriff's deputies. Well, this after he allegedly shot at a woman in rural Blanchardville last night near the town of York. The incident took place on Hay Hollow Road. Authorities say the man fled into the woods. Residents nearby were told to stay inside, lock their doors and windows while deputies set up a perimeter and searched for him. They were able to learn that he was at his home during the phone negotiations and was taken into custody there. We sent out updates on this story overnight and into the morning hours as authorities provided us with new details. Download the Channel 3000 News 3 Now app. Turn on your push notifications so you never miss a breaking news story. Well, the weekend looks nice and dry for southern Wisconsin. We just have to get through some rain that will fall overnight. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canolti has what you need to know in the first warn forecast. Yeah, showers are already affecting the western part of our viewing area, and they'll continue overnight, but they're not very heavy, and they're not going to be too widespread. As we start out by taking a look at the time lapse from the WISC Skycam, you can see we had sunshine today, but it was a hazy sunshine thanks to that wildfire smoke that again was overhead for much of the day today. And in fact, the National National Weather Service and the Department of Natural Resources have an air quality advisory for the entire state of Wisconsin. Areas north of the Dells, that runs until noon tomorrow. South of the Dells, including Madison and Milwaukee, runs until midnight tomorrow night. High resolution radar, just some light showers pushing through parts of southern Wisconsin. Every once in a while, you see a flash of lightning out there, but uh, not looking for anything heavy. Uh, six hour future track radar shows the showers coming on through Madison between about midnight and three in the morning. High temperatures today away from Lake Michigan were generally in the 70s. La Crosse hit 
mid 80, but Milwaukee stayed in the 60s. Temperatures are only in the mid 50s up toward Door County. Uh, current temperatures are still in the 50s closer to Lake Michigan, but generally in the 60s across southern Wisconsin and Lone Rock is still at 72. Here in Dane County, 70 degrees in Middleton, 67 degrees in McFarland, and 68 right now in Oregon. Look for mostly cloudy skies overnight with scattered showers, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. Low temperature dropping to 56. Later on, I'll take a look at how long the smoke will last and then whether or not we'll have a big warm-up next week. A Richland Center woman charged with killing an 86-year-old pedestrian last year told deputies she was reaching for a bottle of soda that fell to the floor when she struck the victim with her car. A signature bond has been set at $10,000 for Molly Rutherford. She's been charged in Richland County with homicide by negligent operation of a vehicle in the crash from last May. The crash happened south of Ithaca on State Highway 58. Deputies say the victim, Ruth Anderson, was crossing the highway to check her mailbox when she was hit and killed. Rutherford provided a blood sample which did not show evidence of impairment. She's scheduled to be back in court in early July. Police in Boscobel are investigating what they say appears to be a murder-suicide involving a father and his adult son. Officers were called to a home around 7 this morning after a report that two people were believed to be dead inside. They conducted a welfare check and found the bodies of a 58-year-old man and his 32-year-old son. Police are calling it an isolated incident and say there is no threat to the community. Dane County authorities arrested an Illinois man after he crashed into a deputy's vehicle and drove away. That crash happened this morning at a roundabout where County Highway N meets I-3990 in the town of Pleasant Springs. Authorities say the driver allegedly failed to yield to the deputy and T-boned his vehicle. The deputy was hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. The Illinois driver was arrested on tentative charges of OWI, hit and run, resisting arrest, and obstructing. At the Capitol, the Republican-controlled Budget Writing Committee approved significant funding to address PFAS in Wisconsin. In all, the state will put $125 million to address the forever chemicals, which is more than the governor asked for in his budget draft. Democrats on the committee said they wanted the money to be more targeted than Republicans signed off on and ultimately voted along party lines to approve the funds. A local food bank that serves much of southern Wisconsin has received a one and a half million dollar grant. The River Food Pantry says that is the largest public grant it has ever received. Its current facility is at capacity, but there is still a strong demand for help in the community. That's why Dane County chose to invest the money to help the river find a new home. The money comes from the American Rescue Plan Act. The river, like other places, is bursting at the seams, and they have the ability to help more people. They have volunteers, they have staff, they have the know-how. But at a certain point, you run out of space to do so. A new facility is estimated to cost $8 million, which the river says will be raised with a combination of public and private donations and investments. President Biden taking on the growing problem of homelessness in America. The Biden administration has announced a new program accelerating local efforts in five of the nation's largest cities. Those cities are Chicago, Dallas, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Seattle. The U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness and its 19 federal member agencies will partner with governments in those cities as well as the state of California. Together, they will fast-track efforts to house local homeless people. The initiative is called All Inside. The larger goal is to reduce homelessness by 25% by the year 2025. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis expected to officially enter the 2024 presidential race as early as next week. One Republican source says that's when DeSantis plans to file paperwork declaring his candidacy with the Federal Elections Commission. The formal announcement will come the following week in DeSantis' hometown of Dunedin, Florida. There's optimism from congressional leaders that a deal on the debt ceiling could be reached before Congress gets back to work on Monday. Nicole D'Antonio has where negotiations stand tonight on Capitol Hill. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says negotiators need to strike a deal soon in order to work a bill through Congress to raise the debt ceiling before the June 1st deadline. It would be important to try to have the agreement, especially in principle, by sometime this weekend. McCarthy praised the president's negotiating team and said all sides are making progress. We're not there. We haven't agreed to anything yet, but I, I see the path that we could come to an agreement. And okay. I think we have a structure now. And Everybody's working hard, and I mean, we're working two or three times a day, then going back, getting more numbers. With negotiations continuing, lawmakers are leaving town for the weekend and not expecting anything substantial to happen before next week. The negotiations are currently making progress. As Speaker McCarthy has said, he expects the House will vote next week if an agreement is reached, 
and the Senate would begin consideration after that. Some Senate Democrats would like to see the president skip Congress and pay the debt anyway. In a draft letter, they say the 14th Amendment of the Constitution clearly states the validity of the public debt of the United States shall not be questioned. The president has the authority and the responsibility under the Constitution to make sure that we continue to pay our bills. But Republicans call the idea ridiculous. It's not a credible suggestion, so I guess it does undermine the credibility of the negotiations. But I think everybody understands this is just a sideshow. President Biden has also expressed doubt, saying it's something the courts would need to decide. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Korean car makers Kia and Hyundai have agreed to a $200 million settlement over claims their vehicles are too easy to steal. The class action settlement could benefit as many as 9 million vehicle owners who suffered property loss. Thieves have been able to use a USB cable to start engines on certain models that had turnkey ignition switches instead of push buttons. Once the glitch was discovered, the information rapidly spread over social media. In addition to the settlement, Kia and Hyundai say they've developed software patches to correct the problem. The update will be downloaded automatically with any dealer service appointment. More local stories are ahead. The new mural now graces a Monona underpass, but it serves a larger purpose. Besides adding beauty to an underutilized area, we'll share what it is coming up. Uh, let me help you with that. I'm good, man. Thanks. Are you sure? Everyone can use a little help. Volkswagen Tiguan with Front Assist. Visit your local Volkswagen dealer for 1.9% APR financing for 36 months on a new 2023 Taos or Tiguan. Could I get the galley buster burger? Onions, caramelized. But actually, could I get those raw uh, olives? You want the best burger of your life? Gotta be superior. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. Save up to 27% when you bundle home, auto, and life. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. We went to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison last night. I don't really get how the jackpots work. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison actually has had multiple million dollar winners. There are linked progressive slot machines at the same casino where local players increase the jackpot amount. And a standalone progressive jackpot increases when a player plays on an individual machine that isn't linked to any other machine. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, more ways to win. Find your perfect jackpot. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Volkswagen Atlas with best-in-class third-row legroom. Get 3.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Atlas Family SE Tech with four motion models. Limited inventory available. Harry Winkler gets the happy place treatment. Well, that makes me feel good. Thank you so much. I would like you all to come home with me. I walk in the door, I get none of that. <laughs> on the Jennifer Hudson Show. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Field trips aren't just meant for school children. Some companies will take employees out of the office to see their products in action. Yeah, that was the case today at Overture Center during a performance of Disney's The Lion King. More than 700 employees 
from Electronic Theater Controls got to enjoy the Broadway Spectacular for free. That's because ETC has played a small part in the production of the show since its Broadway opening back in 1997. The lighting fixtures used for the show come from the Middleton-based company and help lighting designers on set create the magic on stage. It's part of our uh, company's mission to have fun and make money. So today we're having fun, but we're also learning about what our art is. We contribute to the art of the theater, and, and that's a great thing for our employees to experience. ETC is a real cool company. I'll tell you, it's headquartered in Middleton, manufacturing plant in Mazomani. Field trips aren't new to the company, though. In 2015, it rented out 10 theaters to take all of its employees to see Star Wars <laughs> The Force Awakens. Well, if you get on or off the Beltline at Monona Drive while traveling east, keep your eyes peeled for a new public art piece. Local street artist Autofax has painted her newest creation. It's a mural spread across six pillars of the interchange's underpass to resemble waves. It's called Riding Waves and is inspired by the nearby waters of Lake Monona and Lake Wabisa, but it also serves a second purpose, to destigmatize mental illness. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and the shifting waters serve as a metaphor to bring attention to mental health awareness in our society. Mental health is a major issue in, in every community and especially with our young people. So anything we can do to kind of give some relief and, and provide some awareness is really critical. The waves talk about these waves of emotions that everyone is feeling and really looks towards a more brighter and equitable future for all. The mural was made possible thanks to Madison Public Art Project, as well as the City of Monona and the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Madison Metro is completely un updating its service starting Sunday, June 11th, and they're helping riders navigate the changes with ride guides. That's right. Over 50 ride guides will fan out around the city to help the public navigate the route and the scheduling changes there. Metro has not implemented such a major change to its routes and schedules in more than 25 years. It claims this redesigned service will also help them get ready for the new bus rapid transit system, which launches next year. Most Madison residents will be able to access more destinations in a 45 minute trip compared to today. Some people will benefit more um, and the folks that will benefit more according to our analysis are low income households, people of color, um, and that was the, the whole point of doing the redesign was to create a more equitable system. Ride guides will be out on the street on the first day of the new service to help people get where they need to go as efficiently as possible. You can plan your trip now at MyMetroBus.com or using Google Maps or other transit apps. Around the state, now to Oshkosh, where swarms of those pesky lake flies are starting to appear around the Lake Winnebago area. In a typical year, Mother's Day is when the flies are usually seen, but the DNR says colder weather sticking around later into spring could be a reason why they're just now starting to hatch. Despite the delay, the flies are being seen in large and smelly swarms. Lake flies are harmless, they say, born without mouths. They only live one to three weeks, but for most people, well, they're just annoying to deal with. Sometimes when you're like by the lake, you just eat them if you're walking around or if you're running. They go up your nose. Mm. Well, lake flies, <laughs> they aren't all bad. The DNR says they're actually an important food source for wildlife in the area. Well, more than 200 Wisconsin baby girls born last year were named Charlotte. Don't great be surprised. Name. It is a great <laughs> name. Charlotte was the most popular name for a Wisconsin baby girl in 2022, with 240 Charlottes <laughs> born. That is according to new data from the Social Security Administration. It's actually the third straight year Charlotte has been the top name in the Badger State, so parents clearly know what they're doing. Coming in at second on the list is the name Olivia, with 222 babies born, and Evelyn at third, with 221 baby girls. Girls. Okay, for Wisconsin baby boys, there's a new top name, Henry. 336 Henrys born last year narrowly beats out 334 Olivers, which came in second. Liam was third, with 302 babies being given that name. And because you're all so curious, no, there were no Eric's or Gary's oh. on that list. But back in the early 60s, <laughs> Very on early this 60s. day, there was a Gary yes. who came home to mom and dad. Happy you birthday. Know, I, thank you. And you know, at, at that time, uh, Gary, I think, was in the top 100 names. 
across the country. It, it fell off the list after that, and <laughs> <laughs> we know the story. They, see, they named you. You always like know how no old somebody is by their name a lot of times. So. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. Except for Charlotte, apparently. I know, I'm getting a... It's time. Or maybe it's the like fact Charlotte that I'm walking with a cane now and <laughs> <laughs> the hair is turning gray. <laughs> well, let's take a look, first of all, at the three things you need to know in our forecast. We have some rain tonight. It's not going to be very widespread, but there will be some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Tomorrow will be hazy again. We'll see that wildfire smoke overhead so uh, we'll have to deal with that but temperatures will warm up we'll see 70s this weekend but probably hit 80 by Tuesday of next week and then be at or above 80 into the Memorial Day weekend high resolution Doppler radar right now you can see the showers becoming a little more widespread to our south and west but not seeing any flashes of lightning in there at least over the last hour so can't rule out an isolated lightning flash most of those have been up in central Wisconsin but you can see these showers becoming a little more numerous they'll come through tonight I'm not expecting any heavy rain and you can see on six hour future track radar as we start getting into the early morning hours already the rain moves Moving south and east of Madison probably should pretty much be gone by about six or seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Then we still have the air quality advisory for the entire state of Wisconsin issued by the Department of Natural Resources for that wildfire smoke particulate matter in the air uh, could affect the breathing of people who have respiratory issues. So uh, just try to stay inside or just take it easy so you don't have to breathe this heavily for tomorrow. Uh, hopefully things will improve as we head toward the weekend. But Minnesota and uh, Nebraska also under air quality advisories. High temperature trend mid 60s for tomorrow. So a little bit below the average high of 70 but we're back up to near normal on Saturday and then those temperatures above normal through most of next week they're uh, just looking at some of the very latest computer model forecasts it's possible we could see temperatures drop a little bit on Friday maybe down to around 80 degrees as a weak cold front comes through but we're back up into the lower 80s for Memorial Day weekend and I think Memorial Day itself will be looking at high temperatures right around 80 degrees although there will be a chance for a shower or a thunderstorm tonight's rain really not amounting to very much there's just not a lot of moisture out there and once these cold fronts come on through uh, the air starts to dry out so those showers up to the north will stay uh, farther to the north and we're just looking for these temperatures that are in the 60s now to drop back about 10 degrees so tomorrow's high temperatures probably in the lower 60s compared to the middle 70s that we had today planning your night look for that little line of scattered showers maybe an isolated thunderstorm through about midnight and then as we head into about three four o'clock in the morning the rain starts to shift south and east of madison temperatures start to drop off as the winds shift around to a more northwesterly direction but the rain moves off to the south and east we're back to at least some partial sunshine during tomorrow morning rainfall amounts a quarter inch or so a few places maybe around a half inch in a heavier shower or thunderstorm but uh, that's pretty much it and then tomorrow we're back to variably cloudy skies it'll be breezy and cooler high temperature at 64 degrees planning your day across dane county 62 for the high tomorrow in fitchburg 63 in belleville and 62 up to the north in wanakee 59 for camp douglas a little cooler up to the north 62 platteville and 63 in monroe first one seven to ten day forecast lower 70s saturday mid 70s sunday and then those temperatures into the 80s by Tuesday and probably at or above 80 all the way through Memorial Day weekend. Some shower and thunderstorm chances. Latest computer model forecast, though, actually dropped those rain chances as we head into Memorial Day weekend, so keep your fingers crossed. And coming up in sports, the best of the Big 8 met on the soccer field tonight. How both Verona and Madison West left without a loss. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Wisconsin is as hard working of a place as you'll ever find. People here are tough, but even the toughest among us need help after a serious accident. We won't stop fighting for you and your family. Ruber Losses, proud partner of the Milwaukee Brewers. This is how legends are. 2024 Chevy Silverado HD with Duramax Diesel. And the Chevy Silverado with powerful Turbomax engine. No matter what route you take, there's a Chevy truck to get you there. Find new roads. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 LT TurboMax pickups or current Chevy owners get 5250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. Water is one of nature's most beautiful and life-sustaining resources. At no fault of their own, many Wisconsin utility customers are facing a shutoff to their water service. This leaves them without the one life-giving resource we all take for granted. And those hardest hit 
are on fixed incomes, juggling multiple temporary jobs, or those who lost full-time jobs in sectors hardest hit by the pandemic. If someone you care about needs a hand up, your local Wisconsin energy providers are working together to keep you safely in your home and your water, heat, and power on. If you are in danger of losing your water service, call 833-H2O-WISC, 833-426-9472. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. The Menards Garden Center has everything you need to grow a beautiful and healthy lawn. Make it stand out with our wide selection of grass seed. A five-pound bag of nature's finest thick and hardy grass seed is just $11.99 after rebate. Need more coverage? Grab a 20-pound bag of Schultz Sun and Shade or Hardy Lawn Grass Seed for just $48.99 after 11% rebate. Stock up on all your lawn needs with 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At Honda, we offer complimentary maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. Just enjoy the ride, knowing we cover routine items like oil changes, tire rotations, and multi-point inspections. Honda Service Pass, available to purchasers of all 2023 Honda vehicles. Get yours today. A truck crash can be life-changing. If you've been injured, call Gruber Law Offices. We have a powerful team with the knowledge, resources, and history of results you'll need. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Be a good teammate. That's all Scott Merkis really asks of Oregon softball. But as an English teacher, he puts his own spin on it, and his Panthers have fully embraced playing and living with a Mudia mindset. For the first time in 45 years... Good, good, good. It's pretty cool. Oregon softball is a conference champion. Good. They can come back in the halls whenever they want and point to that trophy and point to it and say, like, that, that was us. And this team did it together by buying into each other. We can see it working. You can see how others pick each other up and how we do that on the field and off the field. It's cool to have something that kind of embodies that. And Scott Mercus's motto of Modita. We were a little confused. We were like, um, could you explain? The Panthers weren't the only ones. <laughs> As an English teacher, you know, I had to have somebody explain it to me because it doesn't have an English translation really it's a sanskrit term when translated to softball good adjust simply means to be a good teammate about having um, unbridled joy for somebody else's accomplishments and for what somebody else is doing um, that it's something completely outside of yourself having like joy in others and like being happy for them when they succeed and i think that's been really important because it takes every one of us and even though they don't speak the language <laughs> This group knows Mudita is universal. It's such an important thing, and I think it's something that sports teaches everybody, um, is to work with people around you and lift each other up and, you know, praise others for their good work, not your own. MVP. MVP. Let's kick it. Top two teams in the Big Eight going at it in girls soccer. Verona hosting Madison West, and the Regents started fast. Not even 40 seconds in, Abby Stanton goes top shelf with a strike into the back of the net. Just like that, it's 1-0 West. Now Verona would answer with Lilia Bloom. She uses the spin cycle in the box and absolutely rips one in for the equalizer. And that's how this one would finish in a 1-1 tie. Matt LaFleur and the Packers unveiled their regular season schedule last week, but the preseason slate wasn't finalized. Well, the latter happened today. Before the Jordan Love era officially kicks off, Green Bay will play the first of three tune-ups in Cincinnati on Friday, August 11th. Then the Packers are home for the final two preseason games against the Patriots on the 19th and the Seahawks on the 26th. We're back after this. With an exciting new Toyota, you can go out and enjoy all your favorite summer activities. Sorry. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. I had a lot of bad days with gout, but that one took the wedding cake. 
Even with medicine, my uric acid was still too high to stop painful gout buildup. Then a gout specialist told me about Cristexa. Cristexa is a prescription medicine for adults with gout whose symptoms are not controlled by other gout medicines. I learned Cristexa quickly starts working to break down gout buildup. Cristexa is an infused medicine. Serious life-threatening allergic reactions can occur while taking Cristexa. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as shortness of breath, trouble breathing, dizziness, itching, or swelling of the throat or tongue. Cristexa is not recommended if you have high levels of uric acid without a history of gout. Do not take Cristexa if you have a rare disorder called G6PD deficiency or favism. Before receiving Cristexa, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart problems in all the medicines you take. Cristexa may cause gout flare-ups, allergic reactions, nausea, bruising, sore throat, constipation, chest pain, and vomiting. I received Cristexa for about six months. Now I'm in control, not gout. Find a doctor who specializes in gout at goutdocnow.com. At the Spectrum Lab, we're bringing you the best in connectivity with Spectrum One. Get Spectrum Internet with the fastest speeds in the nation, so you always have enough speed for all your devices. Plus, advanced Wi-Fi delivering state-of-the-art security and privacy. Plus, Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data on a reliable nationwide network. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-792-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or Spectrum Store today. Get up to 50% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals, like this recliner, free when you purchase the reclining sofa, or these incredible beds, both at our lowest price ever, or this beefy recliner marked way down. How about a Lazy Boy recliner as low as $3.75? Or the $4.99 gets you a Sealy Posturepedic mattress. Plus, we'll throw in a seven-piece bedding bundle free, up to 50% off at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. Get four Arby's Classic Roast Beef Sandwiches for just 10 bucks. That's one for now, one after that, one to celebrate the first two, and one more because that's how many four is. Arby's, we have the meat. At Foster Funeral and Cremation Services, we honor legacies. Let us take care of the arrangement so you can focus on saying goodbye. Veteran owned and operated. Experience exceptional care and affordable service with Foster Funeral and Cremation Services. With an exciting new Toyota, you can go out and enjoy all your favorite summer activities. Sorry. Get 3.99% APR for 48 months on many of Toyota's most popular models. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Got a few light showers out there, mainly west of Madison. We'll see those come through over the next few hours. Can't rule out an isolated flash of lightning or a rumble of thunder, but shouldn't amount to very much. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.